Hey everyone, welcome back to Orchestra Tube. Uh, right now I'm going to go over uh, Homie Goes to Arabia. And this one is a little bit tricky in that it's a very awkward interval for the bass. Um, and I've been toying around with how to best introduce it and include it. So I've just come up with, we're going to finger this. So this is on page, uh, well you'll find it. It's, I'm going to the pages might change. So Homie Goes to Arabia, we find it in the um, Homie Packet. Um, basically the notes are D, E flat, and F sharp. So the F sharp is the note we're going to find uh, first. Actually, um, sorry, the E flat. No, I'm sorry, let me just back up completely. We're going to find the F sharp first. <laughs> with our first finger and make sure we've got that good and solid and then we're just going to play a whole step away on the A string that's in between red and yellow. I've got my first finger on blue and I've got my um, two, three, two, three and four on uh, my A string in between red and yellow for my fourth finger. And that's going to be your D sharp or your E flat. So in order to find this, we're going to have to do some string crossings. Um, so I've, I've got it notated in the part without slurs, so it looks like this. greatest, a little awkward for the bass, um, but I like it in the sense that we're, we're getting um, some exposure to a flat note and a position, a fingered position that is across two strings. And you know, the kids have to know about uh, relationships across strings. So, um, and it also is going to practice that uh, figure eight bowing or um, string crossing bowing uh, when we put it back with some slurs. So looking like this slowly and so my my thought on this is I, I haven't quite tested this bowing out and I'm looking for my, my tuner. Here we go. I haven't tested this bowing out in the classroom yet, but I'm figuring that uh, it's, there's going to be some more advanced students who would like to try four note slurred. And again, I would just start with that 55, find F sharp, and then plant the, the other three fingers on the A string and try it slowly. <laughs> then I'm sure you're going to have some overachiever who would love to do it with 16ths. It's not pretty, uh, but this will get the basses playing the exact same pitches of the, as the other instruments. And that's really what we want, want, is for them to feel included and to use the orchestra to tune the basses. Like I said, it's not pretty. It's going to be tricky, um, but you know, it's something that the kids should experience a flatted note in a fingered position and one spot on the bass and having to do a, a string crossing bowing with that. Okay, thanks a lot. I'll see you in the next homie video.